What's going on guys? Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So last night in my Impact Review, which you can find in the link above, um, I said that I was not going to let you guys know of any spoilers that had happened from the Impact tapings that are going on right now. Um, I'll talk a little bit about things that happened prior, knowledge that we learned, and uh, yeah, so... The beginning of the week, we learned that the Global Wrestling Network is now available on Apple TV. Um, they're finally starting to add more uh, ways to view it. Um, I think we still have Roku to go, uh, the Fire Stick, any of the video game consoles are yet have yet to support it. So uh, I think once they get those covered, uh, you will see more people watching it. Um, so I don't know if you guys got this, but... Earlier, after this uh, was announced uh, about joining Apple TV, uh, I had received a Global Wrestling Network survey in my email. Um, the survey basically asked about satisfaction with the product, content interest, your favorite Impact stars, past and present, uh, new features, and then there was a spot where you could enter other promotions you would like to see on the Global Wrestling Network. So I wonder if they're going to take this information and then maybe go... The next step and possibly partner with these companies um but any type of fan feedback is always good uh so i spoke the other day on my impact quick hit uh about the rumor regarding ray mysterio joining impact wrestling so here's a little update uh pw insider had an article that said according to a source close to mysterio at one point the deal was close enough that travel had been arranged for the taping but the agreement fell apart. Uh, we are told that Mysterio is traveling to Mexico shortly and won't be appearing at the tapings. So um, that is what we have now. Um, I'm sure the interest level will peak again once the next set of tapings happen. Um, so apparently during the tapings, uh, Moose was actually injured in a match. Um Apparently, it was a knee injury, and uh, it's said that he did not tear anything, so hopefully this doesn't keep him out of action too long. Um, before the tapings got underway, it was revealed that Impact was going back to the four-sided ring. I know I posed this question to you guys a couple weeks ago, and uh, it seemed like you guys were in favor of the six-sided ring, but unfortunately, they changed to the four-sided. Um not really any of our call here. Uh, they felt like this was best for business, as some people put it. Um, Don Callis, when Scott Demore was on the conference call this week, and uh, Callis said basically the only argument for keeping the six-sided ring is that it was different. And then he made the joke saying, well, a ring with no ropes would be different too, but you don't see anybody doing that. Um, but he said there was an outpouring of support to go back to the four-sided ring on Twitter, so I guess they took that into consideration as well, amongst him saying that the traditional ring is better for bumping, and the talent preferred it as well. So let's see how things go back with the four-sided ring. Um, and Once images were leaked of the four-sided ring, we also noticed that there was a Twitch logo on two of the ring skirts, uh, so, during the teleconference, they had confirmed that they would be, in fact, working with Twitch and would have exclusive content or exclusive original content, older content, um, including behind the scenes content showing the lives of the talent. So, this is just a great way for them to put out more content. Um, I just hope this doesn't take anything away from the Global Wrestling Network unless. The Global Wrestling Network just becomes a platform for all types of wrestling. Um, but, and then it was released today that our first content that Impact will be promoting on Twitch will be the LAX vs. OV Barbed Wire Massacre match. Uh, with the story behind it being Pop TV has declared this match too brutal for their network. Um, Conan posted this on Twitter as well. Uh, that's how I first 
heard about it, and then I looked into it a little deeper, and then it was announced. Um, also, when Conan tweeted this out, the Fight Network also commented on it and said that they will be showing the match on their broadcast, so people who watch it through the Fight Network won't have this problem. Uh, so this past week's impact drew 20, 276,000 viewers and ranked 136 on Cable's Top 150. Um, this was down, I think, 11%, they said, from last week. Uh, last week had 309,000 viewers, so I'm not really going to put much stock into this until the new set of tapings are released, which I believe is in two weeks. Um the 25th I think uh but yeah and uh if you guys get a chance to listen to the teleconference um please don't listen to it if you do not want to be spoiled about things um but it is available all over the internet and uh the only thing else I really got to tell you guys is that it has been confirmed that by April the year there will be new championship belts i know this has been a very sore point for a lot of people um i cannot blame you because the titles did look cheesy with the impact plates over them um but like i said there will be new titles debuted in april which i'm guessing they'll probably be debuted at the lockdown pay-per-view that was uh mentioned earlier on in one of the, one of my earlier episodes, but like I said, that's all I really got for you guys this week. Um, hopefully, more news will come sooner. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said on my Impact review, I will be releasing a kind of uh, retro review of old TNA. Um, I'll have a video dropping tomorrow, Sunday, January fourteenth. Um, going to be reviewing the first episode of impact so be sure to check that out thanks for checking this out and don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks guys